close UMMC officials explain why they are cancelling their contract with the state's largest health insurance provider, Blue Cross. Washith Hospitals across Mississippi recently celebrated National Hospitals Week and National Nurses Week. I consider hospitals to be almost sacred places, where healing occurs and, at times, miracles. I'm so proud of all the hospitals in Mississippi and what they have accomplished during many decades of service. But you know hospitals are just places, rooms and beds and oars, it's the people, the doctors, the techs, the housekeeping staff, the lab professionals, the therapists, the administrators and, most certainly, the nurses, who make them the special places they are. While I don't do a good job of keeping up with all the different healthcare recognition days and weeks, I am constantly aware of the expert care these professional groups provide to patients and families every day. and their passion to make our patients' lives better, and this is why I feel it's so important that we at UMMC take a firm stand over our contract with Blue Cross. More, UMMC, Blue Cross slugging it out over contract more, UMMC may stop accepting Blue Cross. Company, I hate it for our patients, who may be inconvenienced if we go out of network July 1st, and I hate it for our physicians and staff, because it's a distraction from the important work they do. But we can't avoid this any longer, our base contract with Blue Cross was executed 28 years ago, when I was in medical school, since 1990, UMMC and healthcare have changed in many ways, and that was before Blue Cross converted from a non-profit organization to a for-profit insurance company. For the most part, our base contract is just a formal legal document that sets down who the parties are and how they will conduct business, but it contains one clause that doesn't reflect modern reasonable business practices, and Blue Cross has refused to negotiate it. It's the clause that says, as a practical matter, whatever else we may agree to in our contractual relationship, including what they will pay us for the care we provide, Blue Cross can. change it at any time to suit them, we can take it or leave it, and because Blue Cross controls the lion's share of the insurance market in Mississippi, we've had to take it. A good example happened four years ago, after an extended negotiation, Blue Cross said they would give us a rate increase, both parties signed on, and then they used a series of maneuvers to claw back every bit of that increase and then some. Continue reading after gallery why did the leaders of UMMC agree to such an onerous, one-sided contract 28 years ago, I have no idea, but I imagine it was because the relationship between the two parties was much different then, UMMC wasn't the vital statewide resource it is today, and Blue Cross likely didn't have a business strategy that, in our experience, could be summarized as 3D, deny, delay, dictate, they deny claims for the flimsiest technical reasons, delay payment, and dictate to us what, when, how and if we will be paid for our services. That's why the contract as it is currently written must change. Any new negotiations must start from a level playing field. Blue Cross has said this is all our fault and UMMC doesn't measure up to their standards of quality and cost, these are not valid arguments. Even though virtually all experts agree that quality ratings are biased against academic medical centers, especially those that are also safety net hospitals like UMMC, our quality scores have constantly improved since. 2015, and because there is a time lag in reporting, our current scores are even better than what has been publicly presented. Current metrics are available on UMMC's website at www.umc.edu slash clinical quality. Frankly, Blue Cross's focus on quality is superficial, based entirely on claims data and not true clinical outcomes, their program is limited in scope and lacks a strong evidence basis, their definition of hospital-acquired conditions, for example, is a mystery to providers and seems arbitrarily set to justify payment denial. Blue Cross also says our costs are not in line with their expectations, but according to the Association of American Medical Colleges, compared to peer academic medical centers and teaching hospitals, UMMC's hospitals are among the most cost-efficient in the nation. 
are our costs higher than those of a hospital in a Mississippi community of 50,000 people? Of course, but that hospital is not operating all of the high-complexity services around the clock that we are, yet for many services, we are paid the same as a community hospital. Blue Cross issued a statement saying UMMC wants to be treated differently than other hospitals in their network. Yes, we do, we are different, it is that not obvious. Ask yourself the question, what is the value UMMC brings to Mississippi? Think about all the students we train, not just the thousands enrolled in our schools but another 1,600 health profession students from other schools in Mississippi and across the U.S. Think about the research we are doing on conditions that matter in Mississippi, from heart disease to Alzheimer's to obesity and so much more. Think about all the emergency services we coordinate on a daily basis and lead when disaster strikes. Think about how the sickest people in the state, the neonates, the patients needing organ transplant plants, the critically injured, turn to us for life-saving care, think about how much we have meant to the families of all the patients we have treated at Bats and Children's Hospital over the years, think about the outreach we have provided to the under-resourced communities of the Delta and other rural areas through our school nurse programs and our telehealth network, another service Blue Cross doesn't want to pay for, if this isn't enough, think about the economic impact generated by all this activity that originates at UMMC and has been estimated at more than $2.5 billion annually. Now, it's only fair to ask, what is the value Blue Cross? Fine employees and are an important company in this state, I want us to work arm and arm to create a healthier population, they say that's what they want to, buy photoder. Luann Woodward, photo, Joe Ellis, Joe Ellis, UMMC photography, at the end of April, when we notified Blue Cross of our intent to terminate the contract if changes aren't made by June 30th, we also sent a proposed new contract with language that's fair to both sides, the all is in their court, but if we must fight, we will, because hospitals matter, nurses matter, patients matter, students matter and academic medical centers all matter, and they are doing the work, the real work, to help us reach a healthier Mississippi. Dr. Luann Woodward is Vice Chancellor for Health Affairs and Dean of the Medical School at UMMC. Read or share this story, https colon slash slash www.clarenledger.com slash story slash opinion slash columnist slash 2018 slash 05 slash 16 slash y dash um dash and dash blue dash cross dash insurance dash odds dash contract dash fight slash 61626300 slash